Hello everyone. So, a while back, by the way, welcome back to the channel. I didn't say that. Just got off work a little while ago. That's why they call it dirty and stuff. Um, it's around 2 o'clock in the morning. Actually, it's like, I don't know, 10 minutes after 2, something like that. Um, but, uh, I would say about 3, 4 months ago, I bought this, okay? Called Weld 7 Rest. For some reason right now it looks like it's backwards, but maybe it's not, I don't know. Um, and I gave it an initial review, kind of like almost an unboxing. And now that I've used it a few times, I'm really impressed. Although, you know, it ain't much to it. It's super small, super compact. Um, it's probably about, I'm guessing, um, maybe 20 inches long. Um, and it kind of folds up and make, does make like the number seven shape. So there you go, it looks like a number seven. Um, and it's super solid. It doesn't have any, no really, I guess you would call it slop. And then once you learn how to use this stuff here, uh, it's easy to adjust elevation and things like that. It's not as fast as the nicer, more expensive, bigger Caldwell things where it's um, like the lead sled and stuff like that. But if you want a, a really good rest that you can just literally put behind the seat of your truck in a single cab or slide under the seat of a SUV and things like that, this is the way to go. This thing was, I think, a right, right around the less than $30 mark, maybe $24 or something like that. And I definitely do not regret buying it, like, not one bit. Like, it is great. Um, this very back piece right here is, like, really spongy. It's like made out of like a grippy rubber, like it's um, type of rubber, like whenever babies shoot, like if you have a kid that you have to pick up all the time and whatever, that's obviously a toddler. The bottom of their shoes are a lot of times made out of like really sticky rubber um, that if it like rubs against your arm, your hair on your arm, it feels like it's pulling it out. Well, this is kind of something similar to that. Um, and then once the, the stock of the gun is in here, it kind of locks in place a little bit. Um, doesn't just when a gun recoils it doesn't just slide through here and kick the tar out of you the one in the front is made a little bit just wider and really kind of universal so you can pretty much put almost any type of gun in here even some of your bigger um, bench shooting guns that are made for shooting you know off of a bench that have the big kind of square stock in the front I have shot multiple guns off this to see black my black powder gun I've shot off of here or muzzle loader. It is a, um, um, what is that thing? It's a Traditions Buckstalker. It's the cheapest one that I could get and it shoots amazing. I just put another scope, I would just put a, I just switched the scope from my 350 Legend to it and the scope that was on it to my 350 Legend. So now the muzzle loader has a seven power scope, a Vortec seven power scope and um, my 350 Legend has a nine power Hawk has the really cool light up triangles and the chevrons in there and stuff. What is, and it's actually made for a straight walled cartridge rifle. Um, so I'm glad to have it on there now. So I re went and reset it, uh, the scopes on both of those rifles and um, really got some more time to use this and realize how much I really do like it, how compact it is, and uh, just made like just super sturdy. There isn't anything on here that wiggles at all. Everything is made great, everything works really well. There's really good parts on here. There ain't no cheap plastic trash on here or anything like that. Uh, it even has a really nice finish. Whatever whatever type of paint they use on here, it looks great. Um, so hats off to Caldwell. I think that this is a good product and obviously I'm sure they'll never watch this video, uh, but I like it. So if y'all are looking for something um, obviously, if you're if you're on here YouTubing Caldwell Seven Rest Review, um, this will uh, tell you pretty much not everything you need to know because you might have a question that I didn't answer on here. But you can always ask it in the comment section. I will answer your question. I promise. I do pretty good at you know getting back with people on their comments because especially since I'm not like a I only have like 230 I think subscribers or something like that. So um, it's pretty easy for me to get back with everybody who uh, asks me a question. So yeah, there it is. This is the Caldwell 7 Rest, um, and I'm glad that I got it. Like I said, I've had it for a while now. I did do an initial review when I first got it, which is down in there, but uh, this one's a, gonna be a bit better. 
of a review. So anything that might be in that one uh, is going to be in here plus some. So yeah, like I said, I mean, I, d I definitely don't have anything bad to say about it. I wish that it was just a little bit easier uh, to adjust. Um, you know, the, you know, you know the height of your, you know, the, re the butt stock or the fore stock and things like that. But once you get used to use using these things and how they work, uh, how they work, it actually works really well. And um, messing around with it right now and. It just doesn't really take that much longer to get situated with the way that this thing does adjust for accuracy and things like that. So I am definitely more than happy with it. I've done repeated that a few different times. So um, if you have one and uh, you enjoy your experience with it, great. If you have some questions about this one, think that I might have the answer to it. If it's something that I didn't cover, ask it. Put it down there in the comment section. As always, y'all, hope that y'all enjoyed the video. Hope that this, uh, more in-depth review after me having this for the period of time that I've had it has, uh, has been that has helped you. Hopefully, it's answered one of your questions. As always, God bless every single one of you. Like and subscribe and stuff, and I'll see y'all next time.